Hey, what's up? My name is John Raymond Polito. I just want to let y'all know who I am and how real I really feel about this motherfucking coronavirus. Man, I look at it like this. Corona didn't, virus didn't start out here in the USA and it probably been motherfucker out here. You see it's already been in, in the back of a bottle of motherfucking Lysol. But what I'm trying to say is, man, if you stay prayed up and you believe in God, then you should be all right. But if you believe in the coronavirus, if you believe in AIDS and you believe in flu and all that, that shit going to get to you. But just like flu and Ebola and all that, I believe we all can make it through the coronavirus. Everybody going to the store, buying all this Lysol stuff. Like, we still was buying Lysol and still was catching the flu. So what y'all think the coronavirus is going to do? What you think, if, if, if coronavirus is stronger than the flu, then what you think that the coronavirus is going to do is get us sick. But I'm pretty sure everything that you take to get rid of the flu, probably going to have to take that 10 times more to get rid of the coronavirus. I mean, they got to have some type of care out there. I and mean, they just quit doing all these tests on these animals and on people and stuff. And everything will be all right. I mean, I don't know my facts about it. That's why when I get done making this video, I'm going to learn some things about the coronavirus because I don't want to just be that type of nigga that just going off of it just because of what I he say, she say. You know, I heard it was from the China. They said it was from a bat. I feel like this. If it is from China, if it is from a bat, I'm not racist or nothing like that. But, hey, ain't no sickness that no damn bat could give to a human being like me that believing in God, yeah, I may cuss or whatever, but God know my heart and my soul. So what I'm saying is, if you believe in God, you believe in the Spirit of the Lord, man, get on your knees and pray. I don't care if you believe in God, Allah, Buddha, Psyche, whatever. You know, the way these people is uh, going to the stores, buying so much tissue, what is tissue going to do to your immune system? What is the Lysol going to do to your immune system? What What is you going to do when you spray spray too much of, of, of Lysol? I feel like some of y'all people should have been cleaning. Some of y'all people should have been washing your ass. Some of y'all people should have been praying to God. Now y'all want to wash your ass, use Lysol, and you want to pray to God all of a sudden that y'all want to be worried down that the coronavirus out here. Man, they didn't killed off a couple people already. And that's part of those people that, hey, I don't know. But this might seem like some stuff that was planned already and God already knew it was planned. So when I say, if you believe in God, Buddha, whatever you owe God is, whoever you pray to at night, man, get on your knees, get your family, get your kids together. I don't know about the bleach and the Lysol and all that, how that's going to protect your soul. But put down them drinks, pick up them Bibles, put down that alcohol, that Hennessy, that Douce, and all of that, and quit partying and twerking and shaking your ass, and, and, and study this coronavirus shit. If we study this shit and we keep each other on guard, and we'll be all right, and we'll be protected about the coronavirus. So, should the question be, people should have been washing their ass. People need to quit eating booty, eating coochie, and having unprotected sex, and maybe the coronavirus and the AIDS and the flu would have never been here in the first time. Motherfuckers need to quit. It's all that gay shit that's in the environment polluting the air. Quit polluting the air with, with, with your A's ass walking around. They need to be walking around with a stamp on the back of their neck. And with your disease ass, you kissing motherfuckers. You got herpes on your lips. You kissing motherfuckers. You got um, HIV and, and, and touching motherfuckers and fucking motherfuckers. And you licking ass and booty and sucking toes and motherfuckers is damn near eating flesh at this point bitches is pissing in niggas mouth you know and calling it squirt nigga don't know if they even come or, or piss i mean it's a whole bunch of bullshit i know my mind is on some multiple different things but my main thing is i stay prayed up i have not once been worried about this coronavirus i mean if god gonna come and get you he gonna come and get you it's your time to come, time to come. And in the world, God supposed to come on the land of time of destruction right now. While everybody bugging out, get on your knees and pray. Don't bug out now. Should have been prayed up. You know, I came in 2020. 
No drinking. Prayed up. So all I could tell y'all, instead of going in the store and getting some tissue and some light stall, go in the store and, and yeah, get some bleach, but get some um, what's that called? Flu virus pills. You know that 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 tying off flu. Get that. Get that tying off flu. Get that um them Benadryls. Get all that other stuff. Get you a couple guns just in case, you know, the army people come out here trying to kill them motherfuckers with all the suits and the masks on. Y'all covering up with suits and masks and stuff. I'm going to be the only nigga walking around because it's the God in me, baby. It's the God in me. You feel me? And when God is in you and not on you, he in you. And nobody can't touch that. Nobody can't face that. You know, nobody can't touch the power of your God. And at the end of the day, we all going to have to bow down to one God, one master, and come together as a family. And that's what I believe in. Pick up your Bible. Learn a thing or two about your Bible. And it's sad that the world got to come corrupted. For us, people of color, people of white, black, Puerto Rican, I don't care if you black, purple, purple, pink. Everybody bleed. Everybody, if I poke your vein and I poke my vein and I poke another person's vein, I'm pretty sure they'll all still bleed. So if that virus, at the end of the day, we can't even see the corona. Just like we can't even see the flu. Just like we can't see AIDS. Just like we, we, we can't see the shit. So I'm not saying some people feel like that's just like if I wrap my nose and my face with a towel. I'm safe now. Motherfuckers is, is walking around with bags and all this shit on, over their face. And the shit like the shit that they touch before they bought that bag, it had germs. I'm talking right now, it's germs coming out of my mouth and I can't even see that motherfucker, you feel me? So what I'm saying is, why cover yourself up? You know, why panic yourself? Why worry yourself? Why go out there in the world and make people think that you're sick? You walking around with a mask over your face, that's making me think you're sick. Me walking around with no mask, I mean, yeah, I might not be sick. I might be not sick. I don't know, I don't know if I could have, people, somebody out there could have been born with the coronavirus. You know what I'm saying? Some people probably going to see this video and probably be like, nigga, if somebody had the coronavirus right now, they would have been sick. No, I mean, felt like the shit been here and it have been here. It's just that they just naming it. You know what I'm saying? And it had to been already here because you don't just randomly come up with a name oh that's the coronavirus right there that's she got you know what i'm saying you had to already had test that shit that shit already had been tested some years ago so quit acting like we just heard about the coronavirus that's just like the ebola and all the other shit we all supposed to been had happened and now in 2020 y'all want to get worked up over a shit that sound like a drink i don't know if this is a drink or alcohol or weed but what the fuck who came with the name? Oh, I named that coronavirus. I mean, come on now, people. Come, come on. It should just sound like AIDS or the flu. Because, I mean, it's so powerful that it's just killing motherfuckers off. Like the AIDS should have. And motherfuckers are walking around here living and surviving with AIDS. And that's supposed to be the, the, the most strongest disease out there. AIDS, cancer, and, 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 and whatever else the fuck you could get. Shit. But what I'm saying is, if you stay prayed up, fuck that coronavirus. A coronavirus can't touch a real nigga like me. Nigga, I'm a real pure bread ass nigga. You know what I'm saying? Coronavirus can't fuck with me. I hardly don't ever get sick. The flu don't ever fuck with me. So what I'm about to do is, uh, since this shit want to get stronger, I already had stopped, slowed down drinking. I already slowed down my alcohol. I already slowed down a lot of other shit. So I'm about to just pray even more harder. Bring God even more to my soul. You know, I'm probably going to lay off a jacking off. <laughs> I'm probably going to lay off a lot of the other sin bullshit that I was doing. And I'm going to keep my immune system good. I'm a, Man, I'm going to drink a lot of orange juice. Whole, whole, whole lot of orange juice. And I'm going to stay prayed up. I'm going to stop listening to the bullshit music. And I'm just, you know, I'm going to continue living life just like everybody else. I I, I think y'all should just continue living life. But just get your love on. Y'all ladies, y'all making babies by this nigga and that nigga. A lot of y'all hoes, damn near half of my Facebook. I got like 4,000 some friends. 
about half of my motherfucking Facebook is hoes. So y'all bitches probably gonna get the coronavirus anyway, cause y'all out there spreading diseases. Y'all the main motherfuckers is spreading the shit. So half of y'all bitches probably got the coronavirus and don't even know it. It's just somewhere stuck in your pussy. And you niggas that want to be pimps, nigga, y'all having y'all shine now, gold chains, gold grill right now. But that coronavirus, if that shit real, yeah, you gonna catch a corona flu in your dick and your eye. You, you gonna catch it. All right, but look, all bullshit to the side, anybody could probably catch the shit. My whole point is, just like money, the germs you can't see on the money, just like the germs you can't see coming out my mouth, just like the age and the HIV and all the diseases, you can't see that shit. If we couldn't stop ourselves from catching the fucking flu, how the fuck can we stop ourselves from catching coronavirus? And then they got all these movies on Netflix. Look at all those movies about the end of the world. Look at all those movies about motherfucking army people supposed to be. And all those movies about Jesus. The army people supposed to be. I bet, this is what I think will happen. The army people, Donald Trump and the rich motherfuckers going to attack the motherfucking poor and the middle class. They're going to attack us because we are dumb asses. We're going to go crazy like a fucking chicken dude with his head cut off, right? We're going to go motherfucking crazy, right? We're going to panic and we're already panicking. We're buying hella tissue, hella light saw, hella bleach. We're buying all this shit, right? Hella masks for the nose and all that shit. We should have been doing that, right? Instead, of mirror motherfuckers just go to the doctor's office and, <laughs> and cough all on you. Don't give a fuck about the flu, right? Because it was something that we knew that we it was normal to catch and we knew that we got something to get rid of, it, right? And it was weird that you could catch a flu if you go outside in the cold. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Simple shit like that. So what I'm saying is, really, do y'all really think in your mind, if you put a mask over your face, gloves on your hands, that them gloves that you put before you put on your hands, that you not going to get sick? What I'm saying is, you can't see the shit. The coronavirus is like a visible man. You can't see that motherfucker breaking into your house. Like that movie, A Visible Man. You can't see that motherfucker. And if that motherfucker going to come to get you and the devil going to come to get you, the devil got his people just as well as God got his people. So believe that. The devil got his people just as well as God got their people, right? And there's a lot of false prophets and there's a lot of false, false shit going on in this shit. But why you think out of nowhere Kobe dying from a plane, Aaliyah died from a plane, all these famous people are dying. You know what I'm saying? So, my point is, if the devil gonna come and get his people, he's gonna get them people. And if you out there in that world walking around with a chick, like a chicken with your head cut off over this coronavirus, your soul weak, man. I hate to say it, your soul weak. And you need to get on your knees and pray up, you know? Hey, laugh at me, chill with me. Call me stupid, call me dumb, call me crazy, call me whatever the fuck you want. But I believe in the Lord. I believe in Jesus Christ. I don't care if you say that's white Jesus, black Jesus. That's who I believe in. You know what I'm saying? And I say this. Say that we only got one life to live. And it's fucked up to take something like the coronavirus to make us start caring and paying attention to what's real about our life when... God wanted us to come together all, all along. God wanted us to start treating each other right all along. It's all in the plan of God. You don't believe me? This is what's going to happen. The army is going to kill us. The army is the cops. The government. The government is going to kill us. Put it like that. The government. The world is already all over the worldwide news. We don't know who these motherfuckers, how they got in the USA, but they coming out here. They able to come out here. They able to spread the shit around, right? And you don't know who the fuck got coronavirus. You could got it. Donald Trump could have it. Anybody could have it. Nobody knows what coronavirus look like because you can't see the shit. So as long as you can't see the shit, who is we to judge? Who is we, who is I to judge anybody? Something we need to think about. Should we be buying tissue? Lysol? Should have been buying that. Hella water? What we should do is come together, pray together, 
and save our money, people. All y'all people that went out there and blew through y'all income tax money. When it comes down to it, it's okay. It might be our last time living. I don't know if the end of the road here, but the signs of this coronavirus, if this shit real, people gonna start dying. In a blink, in a blink, in a blink of an eye, we're gonna wake up. And like how the news is saying, it's already out here in the U.S., like all spread around, all cities and all states. There's nowhere we could go to get rid of this. There's nowhere we can hide from this. So people, all I'm going to say is just we have no choice but to continue living life. I'm not saying don't buy your tissue. I'm not saying don't buy your Lysol. Once when you didn't bought all the shit out of the store and the store ain't even selling it no more. I mean, it's to the point that I went to the store. I mean, come on now, I went to the store. Dude had gloves on. He had gloves all over his mouth. I'm like, if the store man don't trust me, why should I trust him? Might as well stop going to the store, right? I might as well start robbing his ass. Now, pre pretty much what I'm saying is people is going to start crazy. It's going to be that purge shit going on. People going to start robbing and stealing because... When things like such as the coronavirus is going around and motherfuckers are getting sick and it's spreading around and spreading around and spreading around like AIDS, people going to go so crazy and they panicking so much when it's the simplest thing God wanted us to do is come together, pray, love each other, do what's right. So I'm leaving this message right here, right now on my YouTube channel, Facebook, all of that to let us know. Some real shit we should have been doing. It's praying. Come together. Love one another. You're a man, woman, boy, or girl. I don't care if you mad at your baby mama. I don't care if you dead, gay, Hindu, black, African American, Chinese. Y'all all people. Y'all all humans. Let's get together. Let's love one another. I don't give a fuck. Have your last drink, your last threesome, your last mon menage, twist eye. And get real. Pick up that Bible. Pray. Get to your family. Forgive one another. Come together. Go to church. And I don't care. Maybe this coronavirus some shit might come good out of it. And the good that's coming out of it is the people coming together and having a bond. Praying. Respecting one another. Motherfuckers like me who don't see color. I see a Chinese and I, I, I think he black. Because some Chinese do look black. I see a Mexican Shit, I'm black and Mexican, and some Mexicans do look black. So, it don't matter what color you is. I mean, we, we even got a bino niggas. That means we got white niggas, so that means every color got one or two or at least five percent of each race in each other. We've been playing mix for a long time. So, life too short, and slavery been over. So, let's come together, and let's love each other. And let's, us as people, be one world. And let's come together and be all right. One world, one life. Let's come together and be all right. All right, no, but for real, all bullshit aside, just get to your family, your loved ones. Ain't no telling how real or how fake. The coronavirus is what I mean by fake. We don't know if everybody gonna catch it. We don't know if half of the world gonna catch it. And the sad thing about it, if half of the world catch it and they die, that means everybody got a percentage of a chance of coming across this shit and dying. And what I'm saying is, all jokes to the side. Before that happens, brother, if I get coronavirus or get sick by it today or tomorrow. God got my back. If I die from it, I die from it. But I'm going to stay vitamins up. I'm going to have hella vitamins. Vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B. <sighs> Shit, vitamin water. <laughs> Man, exercise like a motherfucker. And, and, and stay prayed up. I lay every night next to a Bible. Stay prayed up. I know God, it shouldn't have to be where the coronavirus got here and now I want to pray more and now I want to read the Bible. I should have been doing it. But Lord, I already knew that 
my soul is already cleared with you. You know me. You made me. And what I'm saying, Lord, if you can, I'll be on the main line <laughs> waiting to see what's going to happen. Rather, if I'm going to have to be that man telling everybody, hey, God here. He coming to get us. The devil, he here too. And a lot of people going to be laughing and joking and taking it as a, a joke. But when 99.9% .9 of us is out here dying because of a sickness called coronavirus, that's when shit get real. And motherfuckers just start bodies just dead in the middle of the flow and shit. Sick because of virus that you can't see. Some of us going to be looking like fools with the masks all over, like clowns and shit. Like Mortal Kombat characters and stuff. With that, man, live your life. I'm not about to be walking around the street with a mask over my face. Talking about I'm scared of the coronavirus and this the only way to stop me from getting it. Knock it off. I didn't, my wife didn't bought enough Lysol spray. <laughs> enough Febreze and shit. To be protected in this motherfucker. And I still don't feel protected. Because you know why? Ain't no Febreze in this world. Could stop the flu and all that. Ain't no Febreze in this world. Could stop it. You know what I'm saying? And what I'm saying is. I think it's just another. Flu. Ebola. I just think it's another sign from God. Just saying that you know the end of the world is. The end of the world is clearly clearly here and I'm going to stay prayed up and I'm going to try to follow my dream and be the best comedian I could be and those that support me, support me and those that laugh at me, laugh at me and those that just think I'm just an idiot and a dummy shit, fuck y'all living my life and fuck coronavirus I'm living my life so when that shit really do hit a fan I'm going to take my last hit Last head of some drink <laughs> before I die. And I'm going to say vitamin C, vitamin D up. And I'm going to pray to God. I'm going to make sure my immune system is clean as fuck. And shit. Try to do something about getting my teeth right. <laughs> Go see that dentist. And, um, and if I can't do that shit, uh, just Bible and prayer, man. All bull BS to the side. Just Bible and prayer. But I think we're going to make it through this coronavirus. And all of y'all that's buying all that tissue, y'all just going to have hell of supply of cleaning supply and tissue. So don't let none of y'all asses be stinking when this all come over and it's just a regular virus that we got to watch out for and we got to protect each other from. And ladies, you know, y'all should have been stopped letting niggas fuck you bareback and niggas, you should have been stopped fucking bitches bareback. I mean, I just think the world just got so uncareless. I mean, females got six and seven, eight, nine kids and six and seven, eight, nine different baby daddies. Like, ridiculous. I mean, and people so much care about how this person look and that person look and all y'all bitches that's fucking niggas with dreads and Gold grills and dirty teeth and nigga that look like he's a baller and nigga that might got 20 bands in his bank account and don't even have that shit. He might got it on him because he didn't rent half of his shit and use all his credit up on jewelry and gold and shit. Just to put an image as a pimp or whatever. And 99% of y'all hoes that's out here selling pussy because y'all couldn't get a regular fucking job because you didn't graduate from high school. And your dumb ass out there. Some of y'all that went to college, y'all dumb asses out there, got all your money taken away because of these fucking student loans. Should have stayed away from that shit. And all y'all nasty motherfucking bitches that be on there shaking your ass, spreading that coronavirus shit. Coronavirus ain't nothing but another AIDS, cancer, all in one, you let me tell you. But yeah, I'm going to look it up. I know I sound stupid. I don't know much about it, but... I try to keep it as real as I can with y'all. All I want to let y'all know is JP going to stay prayed up. I don't give a fuck about a coronavirus. Coronavirus can't fuck with a nigga like me. If you're a real thoroughbred motherfucker and know that you're so strong, you know you know real, the difference from real and fake. Coronavirus, it might be real, but it also could be fake, meaning that 
It might touch a few. You might get a couple people sick. But if you've been taking care of yourself, you've been taking care of your health, you brush your teeth every day. When you sleep around, you put a condom on your dick and, and bitches, you, you keep your legs closed and quit letting every nigga bust in you. Maybe some bullshit name ass coronavirus won't be out here. I mean, who the fuck? That's how I say they had to been out here. And motherfuckers didn't just wake up today and the motherfucker went inside the doctor office and it was like, bitch, you ain't got flu, you ain't got AIDS, you ain't got cancer, bitch, you got the coronavirus. That 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 just happened? Just out of nowhere, a bitch just woke up. Oh, I got sick. And doctor just touched the bitch. Oh, it got coronavirus. And it, oh, it came from a bat. Y'all motherfuckers crazy. The shit been here. That's all I'm saying. It been here. No time we, we calling this shit flu and it could be called coronavirus. We don't know. All I'm saying is stay prayed up. Learn your Bible. Learn your research. and Do what you gotta do. Bring your family back together. And start loving God again. I don't care if it's Bula, Allah, whatever. At the end of the day, we all gonna find out it's only one God. I don't know if it's my God, your God. I could be wrong. So I don't judge nobody. All I want us to do is stay prayed up. Get to your family and loved ones. And if we all do die about this coronavirus, just to know that I'm the first one to say it. I love y'all over and out. Yeah, it been different messages about Facebook been saying, you know, this shit was about to be and happen, but a lot of people been saying it, but not too many motherfuckers gonna keep it real with you. I'm one of them. So regardless of this part be the thousand and one message y'all have heard about how to get rid of coronavirus, stay prayed up. True shit. Stay prayed up and believe in your God. There ain't nothing to touch you because whatever you believe in, it's the strongest thing that you can do is believe in you and God. It's the strongest thing you can ever have. It's you and God. That's all you need. Because at the end of the day, somebody gets shot, killed, get this coronavirus and your immune system ain't all the way healed and it's weak, you're going to die anyways. It'll suck to die from the coronavirus. That's all I'll say. If I die from this shit, I just want God to know I love you. In my next life, I don't want to hear no coronavirus. And in my next life, I pray to God Adam don't eat from that damn tree. Because in the world, we're supposed to be walking around in there with no sin. Everybody would have just been happy. Probably would have fell in love with the first woman I probably laid eyes on. But anyhow, I love y'all. Please don't let this coronavirus overrule rule us. Get together, pray up. Amen. God bless. God is real. Coronavirus is real. Stay strong. Peace. Over out.